The Hawaii's Kilauea volcano erupted again on Sunday, May 25, 2025, shooting lava 1,000 feet into the air in a spectacular scene captured on video. The activity began around 4.15 p.m. local time and lasted for several hours. The volcano also sent a plume that reached at least 5,000 feet into the air, according to a report from the U.S. Geological Survey's Hawaiian Volcano Observatory. The plume included ash, volcanic rock, and shards of volcanic glass known as Pele's hair. The observatory warned that the volcanic debris could be hazardous to humans, especially if carried by the wind, and said residents and visitors in the area should exercise caution. As a sustained lava, fountain began erupting from the northern vent and continued to grow in strength. At one point, the Hawaiian Volcano Observatory said lava was shooting about 1,000 feet into the air. Lava also erupted from the southern vent, with lava shooting more than 800 feet into the air. The lava flow remained within Kilauea's summit caldera and did not affect any residential areas, the observatory said. Dramatic video shared by the U.S. Geological Survey showed lava shooting high into the air as smoke and toxic ash billowed behind it. The Hawaiian Volcano Observatory said the north vent stopped erupting just before 10 p.m. and the south vent stopped erupting just before 10.30 p.m. local time. The official said the eruption column, which reached about 5,000 feet tall, was filled with ash scoria, also known as lava piles. The Hawaiian Volcano Observatory said activity began at the north vent, which escalated into a tall lava flow at 4.50 p.m. The south vent followed with a smaller lava flow at 5.15 p.m. The USGS streaming webcam showed the lava flow easing after sunset. By 10 p.m., the north vent appeared to stop spewing lava. The flow from the south vent gradually tapered off and then stopped around 10.25 p.m. The U.S. Geological Survey describes Kilauea as one of the world's most active volcanoes. Its 23rd episode of preliminary activity began late last week with sparks and low-level fire. Small lava fountains and lava flows from the north vent began erupting around 11.30 a.m. Saturday. According to the Hawaii Volcanoes National Park Service, lava fountains continued to flow throughout the weekend. The USGS reports that Kilauea is in a unique phase of activity at Halamaumayu, with several episodes of lava flow since the eruption began. Light from inside the vents is still visible on webcams, with smoldering lava still covering the floor of the Halemaumau crater. Two eruptive vents are located in the southwest part of the caldera, referred to as the north and south vents, and both are periodically active, producing new lava flows on portions of the Halemaumau crater surface. Live USGS video footage from the eruption site shows the lava flow decreasing in height and then stopping. The vents are still glowing and lava is still visible on the crater floor. 
USGS reports that a buildup of pressure beneath the surface caused the slope to expand before the lava episode erupted. As pressure was released in the magma during the eruption, lava began to build up, sliding down the deflationary slope with each recent lava flow episode that has created a sawtooth pattern over the past few months.